Good morning, my name is Marco and I'm here today to walk you through the use of the Corgi EM9580, our top of the line non-diagnostic balancer. A machine perfect for high volume stores. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the components so we'll see how easy it is to use this product. Very user friendly. Machine comes already with four cones standard. Available upon request we have precision collet set and pin plate kit. We can go mount the wheel now and see how this works. Okay, we're getting ready to mount our wheel to the wheel balancer. Uh, the first step is to determine what cone is the perfect one for our wheel. We always prefer to back cone our wheels. That means that the cone should go on the inner side of our wheel. As you can see, this cone is the perfect size for it. We should grab it right in the middle. Okay, so after we determine the right cone size for this wheel, we're just going to slide it into the balancer shaft. We grab our wheel. This one as well goes into the shaft. This operation should be smooth. You should have dropped the wheel on a machine that is calibrated. Our wing nut, quick wing nut, lock the wheel. We are ready to go. Our wheel is locked in now, in place. Uh, what I love about this machine is the simplicity and how fast it is. Let's say we want to use a clip-on weight, so dynamic program with the two weights at the two extremities of the wheel. All I need to do is to grab our measuring arm, our gauge, and place it at the edge of the wheel. Once we detected the size of the wheel, default, the machine comes up with passenger tires. So at this point, all you need to do is to lower the hood. If you have a light track tire, just select the second option and lower the hood again. During the spin, we also have a sonar system, as you can see here on this side of the hood. This will pick up, will help to pick up the width of the wheel for maximum precision in the measurements. Okay, now we are going to see how to measure a wheel to use the aluminum program. So for tape on weight, all I need to do with my measuring gauge, I need to reach where I'm going to apply the tape on weight and wait for the beep. After that, we're going to take the second measurement, which is on the inside of the wheel, and wait for the beep again. Okay, at this point the measurements are done. We just need to lower the hood and spin. As you can see, after the check spin, our machine stopped with the target at 6 o'clock because we are in aluminum program and in this case we selected the 6 o'clock program different from before in dynamic when we had the target at 12. The wheel stops exactly where the weight is needed. In this case, the internal weight, all I need to do is to grab my tape on weight, put it right in the middle of the laser line and then we will proceed with the second one either by moving the wheel manually or pressing the start button. automatically it will go and place itself in the perfect spot for the external weight in this case closer to the spokes right there in the middle in the main page if you see the program I selected is the hidden weight that means when we want to hide the weight behind the spokes first of all you will need to select the external balance like in this case after that we select that icon as you can see we enter in a dedicated program at this point I will have to select the two spokes where I'm going to hide the weight behind it so I will manually move the machine in position select the first spoke after that I will move to the next spoke as you can see now my weight, my external weight is split behind two spokes in this case one ounce and one ounce and a half. Two different targets in two different positions. One of the features I like the most on this machine is how easy it is to change a program. So we saw last time we selected the tape on program, that's what it's on now. But with the use of this icon, I can basically browse through all the different programs. And what is great is that anytime the machine calculates the weight based on the different position on the wheel, 
without having to perform another spin. From static to dynamic to all the aluminum program, even motorcycle. Now we're going to see how to go through all the different program and icon on our balancer. Uh, to select these, all you need to do is to rotate this knob for the selection of the icon, press it to confirm, then we have an escape button for when we need to exit the program, we have a stop button and the start button. Okay, so this is our main page and you can see we have different icons. Uh, these three icons will be standard, so they will be always present in this page. These other two are customizable, that means that we can go inside the menu and actually select these two programs and choose the one we use the most or we prefer. Uh, going inside the main menu, which is this second icon, you can see it opens up a lot of other programs. We have from the operator user, so here we can set if in the shop we have different operator using the same machine, they can name themselves one, two, three, and use the machine with their dedicated program. We have an optimization program. Remember that for every icon we select, we have a description right there in case you don't remember what that means. Uh, optimization is the program that allows me to basically match mount, spin the tire inside the wheel and find the least possible amount of weight in order to balance it. We have a fine reading, so here we can quickly uh, see the unbalance in very fine reading, means gram by gram or tenth of an ounce at the time. Display logo, this just takes me back to the main page or screen saver. We have a counter. With this program we can see how many wheels have been spent daily, weekly or on the total life of the machine. We have a weight management program. This program helps us to uh, save weight there without compromising the balancing of the wheel. Now we move on the right side of the screen. This program lets me manually input the size of the wheel. It's not really needed normally because the machine gauge does that for me. If we have a C version of the 9580, means that has the uh, electronic locking of the wheel, uh, this icon lets me open and close that electronic system. This again is available only on the C version of the EM9580. We have a help button. In this page actually the machine will show me uh, how to use some of the program is basically a light user manual that can help us during the operation. And finally on this main page we have the configuration program so by entering this we actually enter in the real settings of the machine. We have program like the RPA we can enable or disable it this is the research of the position automatically it means the machine automatically will bring the weight at 12 o'clock or at 6 o'clock depending on the program we choose. I don't see a reason why to turn this off. We have the rounding program. This again if we need to do a fine reading we can change and go on the smaller weight. This way the machine instead of going 5 to 5 grams it will go one by one and if we use ounces it will go from quarter to quarter of an ounce to one tenth at the time. So it's just to have the very quick fine readings on that. Next icon, grams or ounces. We know we sell these machines to different markets so we can be using grams or in ounces at any time. The optimization can be turned on or off because when an optimization is needed on the main screen you will actually see a suggestion to go and optimize the wheel. This is the program I was talking about before. By selecting this we can actually pick two icons to be placed in the main page, so in the working page. So let's say I switch from gram to ounces all the time. All I need to do is to enter this program, select gram and ounces, that will be the first program that shows. And then let's say I want the second one to be the position of my wheel weights. These are the one I use the most. Once it's done, they are set right there, ready to be used. If we go back into the menu, we have language. Again, different countries, the machine can be set on many different languages. We have set company data. By entering this icon, you can actually write on the desktop, on the screensaver of the machine, the name of the company, the name of the shop. We have a laser that can be enabled or disabled. This is the laser you have seen that we use in aluminum program to place the wheel weight at 6 o'clock. So I don't really see a reason to turn it off. Same goes for the LED. This machine has an LED light 
um, inside the balancing shaft that help us seeing, especially on dark wheels, they can be changed the intensity of it. So it can be one, two means brighter or completely off. This is program that I really like because normally the balancer um, are default with the weight at 12 o'clock but now we have the choice to put the weight with the clip that means with the gauge or with the laser which at this moment is the fastest way to balance a wheel. We have few hidden programs this one at the last and here you have calibration so the actual uh, imbalance calibration of the whole machine we have the sensor calibration, this is the sonar on the side of the hood, this calibration normally is done only at the first installation of the machine. This is out of setting for monitor because we can put a bigger monitor on this balancer and this will do an auto setting of it. And here are the service program that normally are needed only by the Corgi service tech. Also on the bottom right of the display you can see we have few other icons, few other functions. Uh, here is basically showing me uh, what we are working with. So it's operator 1, the laser is on, this is the program where we select the position of the weight, could be 12 o'clock, could be 6 o'clock in this case. We have the kind of rounding, so fine reading in this case. We have the program we are using, ALU1P. As you can see we have tape on weight. If we had the clip on weight this would say dynamic. And at the end the car, because normally we use it in car mode, but remember that this can be used in motorcycle as well.